guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD. A yes, uh, continuation of my whole little adventure of finding the best headphones out there in the market. Uh, today's unboxing slash review is brought to you by OrbsHeadphone.com, only place where you get the best headphones in the market. Again, if you guys go check out their website and find something, there is a discount code at the bottom of the description that you guys can use and get about 25 to 30% discount, which is awesome. But today's review is uh, the Soul Republic X, which is a Motorola product, and uh, their Bluetooth headsets, which is pretty awesome. So let's actually open this bad boy up and see what they look like. So what comes within the Soul Republic Track Air Box? Well, you got a nice little bag right here to carry your headphones. Uh, you got the headrest, two ear pieces, left and right. You got a nice little cable right here, which uh, I'm assuming you connect it to your computer to give it a charge. And if you don't want to do Bluetooth, it comes with a uh, cable, so you go wired. And the cable does have an inline controller to control the volume to go up and down, which is pretty cool. Uh, you got yourself a nice little user menu and a nice little smaller version of this user menu. And let's take a closer look at how to set this up. Okay, guys, so the Track Air Wireless Headphones by Soul Republic X Motorola combines superior sound, unmatched 150 foot wireless range with dual device connectivity and incredible 15 hour battery life that active music lovers will be able to roam their homes and or the road. With its dual connectivity, it allows you to seamlessly switch from listening to tunes to taking a phone call using the crystal clear noise reduction dual microphones. Now some of the key features of the headsets. Well, it has multiple device connectivity which allows you to connect to multiple devices, including your phone, tablet, or computer, as long as your device is Bluetooth enabled or has the NFC feature. It also has an A2 sound engine. Now, most headphones sacrifice sound when being used in wireless mode. The Track Air is powered by a larger digital amplifier and Motorola's wireless technology called A2 Sound Engine, which produces a sound equal to or better than a wire connection, making this one of the best in the market as a wireless headset. All right, so let's take a look, a closer look at the headrest. So the red he headrest, the first thing that I noticed is this little metallic little thing right here, which I'm assuming this is like the connection of the earpiece. Uh, nice little cushion at the top. You got the nice little Soul Republic logo, which is pretty cool. And one of the earpieces. So it looks like this is the right side because these are. And the right side looks way different than the left side. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the right side has more buttons than the left hand side. Ooh, strange. Pretty cool. Uh, so let's take a closer look on the right hand side. And it looks like we got uh, one, two, three. Uh, four or five little places right here. Uh, the first one right here is actually you turn it on. This is where you turn on your Bluetooth. This little long strip right here is your volume control. Uh, volume up, volume down. This button right here actually controls the muting. So if you want to talk to someone or listen to someone, just press the button and it will mute it. You have your uh, micro USB port right here. This is where you plug in that cable that came with the box to give it a nice little charge. And if you are not going Bluetooth, you could insert the wired uh, connection here. So it's time to put the ear pieces on your headband. So it's pretty cool. You know, it has a nice little R, R, R for right. And you gotta make sure that the portion where you put the cable, if you're gonna be doing wired, is on the bottom part. So we're gonna slide it here. And uh, that's how you insert the right and you get your left and again make sure that this portion is at the bottom because if you guys are going wired uh, the wired would be hanging this way so so far so pretty good 
Now let's get these guys connected. As I said before, on the right hand side, this is where all your controllers are at. So I'm actually gonna press the top button, which is going to turn your Bluetooth, and I'm gonna put it next to the to the camera so you guys can listen. Tracks Air is ready to pair. All right, so when you guys get that nice little notification, it's gonna start blinking blue, as you can see right here. So you're gonna get your iPhone device or Android device and go into your settings. And within settings, you wanna turn on your Bluetooth. And so once you turn off your Bluetooth, uh, it's gonna automatically pick up your, any track device would be track air and just select it. You don't need a pin code on anything and automatically is gonna say connected. More than five hours of playtime. Now one of the cool things about the Soul Republic Track Air is once it's connected, it actually tells you how long of uh, the battery you have. Uh, I think a standard would be 15 hours. Again, I've been using this, testing it out for you guys, and I already have five hours. So once you're connected, you're good to go. 